It's in one of the top, I think the only guitar I've ever sold that sounds as good as this is, is a, it's a 30s pre-war Martin 0017. I had two of them and they sold for big money, um, but this guitar has that pre-war Martin tone. Let me just shut up and play it. sound just jumps out of the guitar with those kind of, you know, like old Japan Yari overtones that really remind me also of the overtones of a really good pre-war Martin. And then it's got that kind of orchestral tone of a great Martin D35. This is a lot of guitar, folks. Listen, that's incredible. I'm using a $100 Zoom Q3, by the way. most acoustic guitars is they have really compressed mids or the bass is so thumpy that it, it ruins the overall voice of the tone and the bass isn't clear. Very rare to find a guitar with kind of a holographic or orchestral balance like this guitar. I mean this is the kind of guitar I think I mentioned to my ad. You, I can flip the guitar over and just the, the, the my finger pressure against the guitar makes it begin to hum. This is I mean Anybody that knows guitars knows this is the truth. The, the Japanese know some secrets to making guitars that they'll never reveal. And some of the guitars they made in Japan in the 70s are just unbelievable. And I've sold a, a ton of Alvarez and Yaris, and I've even sold a lot of Martins and pre-war Martins and whatnot. Um, this is this goes in the in, in the top you know two or three guitars I've ever had. It's really clean. I think I see one or two little dings on it. The back is absolutely like stunning looking. This is just and and, and the headstock kind of has the guild logo. This this is like double lawsuit really, um, because they copied the three piece back, which I think Martin had a patent on, and then they also uh, copied the guild logo. This is kind of a double lawsuit. But man, this guitar has has just an incredible voice. <laughs> It's like a wooden bell, you know, it's, it's got the full bass treble and mids, but it's got that magic mid kind of pop, kind of like I said, a wooden bell is the best way I can describe this guitar. And I've only got 11s on it, and what's really cool is there's plenty of saddle left, which is really a good sign. A lot of times when you find these guitars from the 70s, there's hardly any saddle left, left because of neck shifting. There's saddle left on here. It plays really good right now, though. It has low action. I don't normally use 12s, but I think it would actually set up better with 12s. Uh, but just <clears throat> really a tough guitar to let go of.
bit of slight buzz on it right now, but I'm tuned lower. So if you tune to normal pitch, you know, you'll probably get even less and it's not that bad. <clears throat> but I think you could put 12s on it. You might just be fine or worst case scenario, you spend 50, 60 bucks and have a setup. I think I would just put 12s on it. Uh, I, I, I play it fine right now as it is. But like I said, uh, it's got, you know, pretty low action. So uh, I think it would be set up really nice with 12s. And then the, there, there's plenty of saddle left if you have to mess with that. But man, really has a sound. That's most, like I said, I, I was at Guitar Center the other day. I played guitars from about 2800 to about 45 to 5 grand. This, this would blow away any of them. You got to understand, folks, you don't get what you pay for anymore. I mean, there are some products out there that you do get what you pay for, but very few. But I mean, the big boys are in a lot of problems right now. Gibson's in debt half a billion dollars. They're, you know, they, they might be going bankrupt or sell the company. Um, you just you just don't get what you pay for anymore. You have to be a smart shopper. You have to look for the rare stuff. I've always been a big fan of Made in Japan guitars, but this, this one's on the top of the list. So I haven't played much today. Stuff. I'm, I'm in dad guy. Sweet guitar, might the, the 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 E string might be a little low in the net, but like I said, if you put a 12 on there, it might be fine. So like this guitar plays fine for me. Um, you might need to like like I said, maybe put some 12s on it to just bring it up a little bit because it's pretty damn low right now. But I'm also tuned in dad gad, so tuned in regular tuning. You you know it's gonna it's gonna put a little bit of uh, you know a little bit more. Uh, just slightly raise it up a little bit. And neck is great. This back of the neck feels great. The neck is not a huge neck, kind of a medium. Such a sound. that I barely play the day so I'm kind of, kind of slopping around. shivering resonance, that orchestral holographic, you know, the complete spectrum of mid bass and tone blending together beautifully. That's where most guitars, some guitars can be loud, but, but they lose definition. They lose the clarity because the bass is too thumpy. The bass is undefined. A true great tone, and anybody who's owned a great made in Japan, like you already knows this, it, 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 it just jumps out of the guitar, you know. <laughs> And, and most most acoustics are very very weak in the in like I said in the bass is very thumpy in the mids and the treble so it's really rare to find something that has this kind of holographic bloom or the, the resonance like this one. <laughs> Uh, 
car. And the back is just absolutely gorgeous. This is old wood too. That is really, really, a, as you can see, a beautiful back. I think I, I think I saw one or two dings on this guitar, but it looks really, really, really clean. I'd give it like a, maybe like a nine or something, you know? It just really has a beautiful, yeah, I, I see a couple dings on the top. But anyway, it, this is really a beyond rare guitar. I've been buying and selling guitars for 35, 40 years. I've never even had one of these. So, uh, yeah, you know, it's it's just a real, it's got it all, you know. And I love the three-piece back. That's why Martin came out with the three-piece back, is to give a more orchestral projection and resonance. And it, I think it helps kind of have that holographic projection. Like I said, the overtones on this guitar are just amazing. It's got kind of a wooden bell overtones but not with losing definition you know it, it, everything stays nice and clear and defined and like I said if you could if you could combine a really great Martin D35 with a really great Yari with a little bit of guild you'd have this yeah this is this is really a special guitar so I hope it goes to a good home I'm really gonna miss this I just I was extremely excited when I got this I worked really hard to find great guitar it's not easy to do especially the kind of rare stuff I like to deal in so anyway all right, folks, take care. Stay, stay positive.